Hey everyone, I'm going to do a, a painting that was inspired by Michelle at Mickey Art and it's called A Beer Bomb and it was, I was a bit confused when I first saw it and I thought what on earth is a beer bomb uh, and then when she went through and explained it um, the way I know it is a Jaeger bomb so if that rings a bell to anything for you or even maybe the beer bomb does but I like the sound of it and I like the effect she got from it so let's give it a go just got a cup here this is a 45 so I have sprayed the label and given it a coat of white to cover up and help to resist any bleeding through from the label because it's a quite a bright pink and so we've got some white paint, which is a mixture of Creative Place Titanium White and the Radical Pearl White. So it's a combination of those two. Uh, what else have I got? I'm going to use some of the fluoro colours that I used in my previous painting. So let's see. So first I'll do, this is the little shot glass, so that's going to be what's dropped inside and I'm going to use these. So let's go with a little bit of pink. I'd like to use all of them, so because I, I need this bright flash of colour. And because it only is a 45, I didn't check how, maybe, is it 10 inches? I'm not sure. I'll check on that. But because it's much smaller than your usual record, I don't need a lot of paint. So, let's see. All right. And... Go with the orange before we put the blue. So I still think that filling this shot glass up wasn't my intention to fill it all the way. So I've only left it now a little bit from the top. And here's our cup. Let's put in the white paint. Okay, so the white into the bottom, that's probably more than enough, we'll see, I don't know whether that will shot, cover the shot glass, oh not sure, okay, so the shot glass with all the bright colours into the middle and pushed into the white like you would drop a drink. Okay, so I'm just going to top up the white just till it goes over. It's floating up. <laughs> okay, push it in. There we go. It's covered. All right, you ready to go? Let's see. So we're just going to flip this over. And I think the cup fell over because I can see lots of yellow on this side. So let's give it a whirl. Heaps and heaps of paint. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. Didn't quite fall over, but all those bright colours was definitely what I was hoping. Very pretty. Okay, I'm going to pop that back in there. <clears throat> Sorry, it's very slippery. <laughs> okay, this is cool. I definitely have enough paint. That's for certain. Okay, let's give it a tilt. 
straight to the edges because we're really close by. This is awesome. I was so excited to watch what Michelle had done and been meaning to get to it, so I finally did. Okay. Let's see, I'll give it a torch. And wow. Love it, love it, that is so beautiful. <sighs> Michelle, thank you so much. That was a wonderful inspiration for your beer bomb. So what I'm going to do now is just bring you down straight away and give you a close-up on that. There we have it. That is amazing. If this were on a full-size record, it would have given way for a lot more negative space. However, being on the on the smaller 45, uh, it's just an explosion of vibrant, bright cells mixed through the white. Oh, I love it. Got these ones up here. What an amazing combination of colour. That is awesome. Really excited to see how this one's going to dry. And even more excited to share it with Michelle. So wonderful. I will put a link for Mickey Art in the description. And I'll be back with you when it's dry. See you soon. And now it's dry, so here it is, the old 45 record, all dry. It was a very thick layer of paint on this, and I was a little bit concerned, but it's dried beautifully. Um, I'll let that cure a lot longer before I, I really want to resin this one, so it'll be a little while. That cell there, it's, it's almost like a rainbow on the inside. I love it. Everything dried as is, or as, as it was when it was wet. The cells are nice and firm. The lines, beautiful. And the colour, so vibrant. So, a big contrast between... Uh, the the dried painting on the canvas where all these bright vibrant fluoro paints uh, kind of washed each other out through the middle but on this with the white background and the less uh, less movement over each other has brought out stunning results so extremely happy. This is going to be for myself. I'm going to resin it. That's the plan. And make it a small clock for my room. So yeah, very happy. All right. That's about it. So wherever you are, in every moment, be fabulous. All right. Bye for now.